Since moving to San Francisco over 10 years ago, I've been fascinated by the work of artist Saran Norris. When it came time to create a background for my new show, Dear Veronica, I knew exactly who I wanted to try to get. Incredibly, he said yes. So how do you start with a project like this? Because it's absolutely huge, but I mean, you're clearly working on it on a much smaller scale when, when you first start designing. What's your process like? Uh, this mural in particular, I probably designed it out on paper, probably scanned it in and then did a final drawing in Photoshop um, and then colored it in, then printed it out and then kind of had this design taped everywhere and then put the scaffolding up and then had probably about 15 people uh, just uh, painting. I would draw the lines and then they would paint uh, the black color in there and then I'd come in and do the black lines after everybody was done with the color. So it's essentially a massive coloring book. It's a massive coloring book. It's impossible to do something this big by yourself. We're in the Mission District right now and this neighborhood in particular has changed tremendously over even the last couple of years. Uh, how has your work reflected that? Gentrification is a huge part of San Francisco history and I created a mural uh, in, a, in a very historic mural alley called Balmy Alley, um, maybe about four or five blocks away from here. And uh, it's Victorian Defender of the Mission and uh, it's about uh, um, what I define as gentrification. What I tried to do is kind of create this mural Victorian to be able to kind of express that uh, to someone a lot smaller or maybe kind of represent gentrification in a little bit more of a satirical, uh, light-hearted way. Tell me about working on Bob's Burgers and, and your art in that show because I love Bob's Burgers. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Right on. I'm like fangirling out a little bit right now too, but that's okay. We created the show here in the Mission uh, back in 2008. Jay Howe created the original character designs and then I did char the character design versions from him. And then I created all the backgrounds, the inside of the restaurant, outside of the restaurant, the street scene, all that. And then it took like two years to before Fox bought it. And then uh, now it's kind of a, a cultural phenomenon and it's just such an honor to be a cartoonist and then actually have a part in a little bit of cartoon history. I have been a fan of your work for so long and then we were like, we want this kind of feel for the backdrop and I knew exactly who I wanted to get in touch with. And so it was a total honor and surprise that you were not only willing to do it, but willing to give us your bears. Of course. I think it's a really great fit. I had a, a really fun time kind of creating this world where I, I could imagine and where all the emojis live. I think it was really cool to, to live in that world and then we have this really wonderful output. So it's great to see it. I think it, the set looks wonderful, really excited about it. So what kind of software and tools did you use in order to make our backdrop? So we basically had to go straight back here. I used Illustrator. That whole uh, background did not exist on paper. It's just directly screen to output. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to tell us about your artwork today. I know there's tons of fans in the audience and we're really excited that you took the time to help us with the backdrop. No worries. It was my my pleasure hanging out. Yay. Thank you. He is awesome. For more of Saran's work, check out his Instagram page at Saran Norris or see it every week on my show, Dear Veronica, right here on Engadget.